too. Hitforsboxing.com, we in the house with Brian Bye by Jennings. Brian yeah. Jennings, last fight, Mike Perez, Master Garden. Yeah. Big fight for you. You yeah. took him on, you did your thing. Mm -hmm. We'll go months earlier. We, we can say almost what, about 10 months earlier, you fought Arthur Spielka yeah, yeah. at the Garden. Yeah, I mean, what is. Months, six, six, seven, six, seven months earlier. So go ahead. What's next for you right now? Um, well, you know, the boxing game can bring anything. Um, I, I was told, you know, to make sure you stay ready. Uh, that's the way I live anyway. So uh, I'm always ready. I'm ready for whatever. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to the winner of De Deontay Wilder and Bermain Stavern because that's my, that, that was my mandatory. You know, uh, my last fight versus Perez was sanctioned. So, you know, that was a mandatory bout. So, so I'm looking forward to that. Is the date already on for that fight? Nah, the man, the, the date's not on, and that's that's that that could bring frustration, not to me, because <laughs> I'm patient, and um, but I know it brings trust, frustration to the fighters, and I don't even think people really want to see that fight like that anymore. Well, I mean, to a point, you just want to step in with any one of those guys right now? Yeah, yeah, I, I would rather step in with either one of them. Uh, you know, um, I don't think much of uh, of any one of them. Um, you know, I, you know, I, I like Stavern and um, you know, Wilder, Wilder's up and coming cat, and um, you know, they, you know, they both do what they do. But you know, this is the competitive, you know, competitive sport, and you know, I'm heavyweight, baby, and I'm coming for the spot. So. You think? I mean, someone's scared in that camp. Someone don't want to step up to the plate. How you see that? Uh, I don't, I don't really know if it's anything fair because I don't even think the boxers have have what's up. I don't even think the boxers have control over, 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 over the business side of it. So I'm not I'm I'm not going to degrade any of them and say that they're scared. That's what I honestly that's what I honestly think. Uh, I don't think either one of them scared. Uh, I just think that you know it's a lot it's a lot going on in business, you know, in the boxing business, and I just think this you know it's taking a little bit too long. It's it's too much going on in the boxing business. So. November eighth, you got Beehive right here, Bernard Hopkins, the alien, Philly in the building, dog yeah. fighting Cobra High. No, to be exact. How you see that fight going down? Uh well, the smart man of Bernard Hopkins. Uh, like, like most most people don't believe me, but people don't understand, you know, you know, you know, the technical side of boxing. Most people just most people just understand, you know, the power and oh oh knockouts and this and this and doing all that. But it's just like, what good is your power if you can't no hit the target? Exactly. You know what I mean, so and then it's a thinking game, and Bernard has a whole lot of attributes, you know, you know, to the technical side of boxing, and I just think that that they they shouldn't just think that this is sweet. Um, because upon Bernard making him look look bad and embarrass him, then I guess his inexperience with thinking or his experience his inexperience in the technicalities of boxing may force him to do something stupid. May force him to continue to do something stupid and just leave himself just lost. Um, that's the type of that's the type of game that Bernard will make you play. Um, and if you're not as mentally as strong or mentally tech, you know, technical, technical as him, then those are the games, those are the traps that you're going to fall into. So I think Kovalev needs to think twice. On the other hand, Kovalev is a very strong fighter, very good young fighter. Um, you know, he's just going up against a technical beast in, in Bernard. And I just think that it's going to be more of a thinking game. And you're definitely going to have to pick your shots and be patient and do what you have to do and don't lose your head. Now, like you said, technician, this is a 50-50 where it's not only physical, yeah, but it's yeah, mentally, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, now, you got Sergey Kovalov around these days. I don't know if it will happen. Maybe it already happened this week, but his wife is giving birth. Now, she's in California. Mm. He's in Florida training. During this time of the camp, I mean, you know, that right there might work on someone mentally, though. I mean, what do you uh, think about that? Yeah, yeah but, yeah, but now, nah, if, if you're focused on something, you focus on something. No, no death, no sickness, no nothing can take you away from, from it. And... And I mean, I, I mean that's that's how it be. I mean, if you real focus on something, it's, I mean, look look at Floyd. Floyd been going through a whole lot of problems with like you know, you know his personal life and things like that. And you know, people try to bring other things to him all while he's in training. Right. And you know, I mean, I guess the last fight you can probably say maybe, maybe, but who's who's to say? It's a whole lot of things. But th th there's there's no 100% accurate way of saying that you know, what happens at home or what's going on at home affected you in the fight. So, I mean, it's hit or miss with that. Got you. Now, November 8th, a couple hours earlier, overseas in Europe yeah, and Poland, yeah. an opponent that you know very well with both of them, because uh -huh. Sam Zadamik is someone that you fought in many, many, many cars. I mean, you was mm -hmm. always on the yeah. undercars, man. And Arthur Spiegel, someone that you fought, you dismantled, you did him in. Now, how you see that fight going down? Uh, I, I think that I think that Adamick would definitely outwork him. Adamick definitely can still, I mean, he, he, he can definitely go the distance. And he can go the distance with 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 a high punch output, even at even towards the end of his career, he can still do that. Um, 
adamant can also take a punch um and and he's very slick and and i, I just think that he's he's one he's 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 there he's there to out to outpoint spilka um outworking uh i don't know about i mean maybe even stopping him um i hear a lot of people saying that it could yeah, be may, may, could may, be a stop may, may, maybe even stopping him um on the flip side of things you know spilka's a young strong guy you know if he catch if if, if he can catch you know adamant with with those shots and then you know maybe maybe work on selecting his punches because Spilka will hit you with something, but then the rest of his punches to take you out with won't be won't be correct punches. Mm. You know, there'll be punches like you know maybe head hunting or whatever. You got to learn how to pick his shots. When you hurt a person, you pick them in certain areas. Therefore, you hurt them more. You hurt them there. You hurt them there, and you hurt them there. Therefore, they're done and they hurt. So you know, Adamic's a veteran. Uh, if you hurt Adamic, then you definitely have to pick your shots correctly. Don't do nothing stupid. Don't do nothing amateurish. You know, just pick it professionally. Strength, technique, all of the above. Do it good. Now, Jennings, 2015 is around the corner. Say uh, Adamic wins this fight. Yeah. Would you mind getting in the ring with Thomas Adamic? Would, would I mind? If it's for a position, I don't mind getting in the ring with anyone. Um, but at the point where I'm at now and at the point where he's at right now, um, I don't think that we're going to clash unless, you know, you know, he comes back up, you know, to, to a certain point. But who knows? The boxing game, the politics, and maybe they try to agree something up or whatever. But I, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't mind, you know, if it's for a position. Like I say, I don't mind fighting anybody for a position. So it's, you know, I mean, Master Gone, the real, the, the real arena or the Barclays Center selling it out because I know you and him together, man, that would be a sold out yeah, arena yeah, right there. Yeah, it definitely would. Um, it definitely would. I'm gonna bring the whole Philly out. He's gonna bring the whole Polish community out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you know we're gonna make it do what it do, but yeah, as long as it's full position, then I'm with it. It don't matter. I mean, we we every fight got to make sense. No doubt. Jennings, a couple last words for fans worldwide. You already know it's your boy Brian Baba Jennings, the best heavyweight in the world. Yeah, though, elite class. Cliff set North Philly, ABC gang. Shout out to Hit First Boxing, my man Jeff right here. You always show love since day one. You already know what it is. ABC Boxing, BY Jennings. At BY Jennings on Twitter and Instagram, you already know what it is. Yeah, though, no feeling in the building. We out. Always a pleasure, big boy. All right, thank you.